back out fishing again today. Um, I'm spinning around here. As you see, I'm I'm at the pond. I launched over here at the boat ramp. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going out the channel. I'm gonna try to get out to a a place called Little Grassy. Um, it's out in the lake. Uh, but the area is called Little Grassy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it all the way out there because. I mean, I'm only on a trolling motor, and the lake is really low, so I don't know what kind of access I'm going to have. I mean, I got my push-pull in case it gets too too shallow, um, but uh, I'm probably just going to throw a couple times in here with a, with a frog and see if I can get anything out of here, and then I'm going to head on out. Um, it was supposed to be thundering, storming, and raining all day today, but, I mean, it's beautiful. A couple clouds in the air, but, uh, no rain, light wind, but let's see what I can do. I'll get back to you. All right, guys. I made it out here pretty far into the lake. Uh, this is all a little grassy right in here, and... Caught my first fish of the day. A little guy, but he's a fish. Caught him on a gambler cane toad. I'm on that green one again. Little guy. <laughs> I'll let him go here. Yeah, I'm fishing all these mats and stuff around here. No, uh, fishing on the outside of it, and he hit it the first time. I missed him, so I went right back and got him on the second hit. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep fishing all all this area. Real thick, heavy mat, so I'm gonna go over it with the frog, but mainly stick to the outsides. See if I can get any more, but uh, get back to you. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm drifting back towards the shore area. I just threw over to these uh, cattails here, and I got this guy. Nice. I think they seem to be uh, eating on our, these frogs today. Can't uh, can't get them to react to spinner bait, crank bait, Carolina rig, nothing. I don't know if the bite is just that slow today or or what. Oh wow, this guy's been caught before. He's got a got a, a hook in his stomach right there in his throat um, so he obviously hasn't passed it and luckily it's not affecting him where he doesn't want to eat anymore let me uh a bunch of fishing line stuck to it let me go ahead and get the fishing line off of the hook Yeah, took the fishing line off the hook. At least I that. Wish I had some cutters so I can cut the hook down some. It's pretty rusty, so it looks like he's had it in there for a while. But, uh, yeah, that's signs of uh, catch and release right there, which is, which is really good. Um, or he just broke it off. I mean, he's not that big, and that line looked like it was about 20, 30 pound monofilament, so maybe so I hooked him and let him go. There he goes. But yeah, that's good. At least people are catching release. I mean, he wasn't of size anyways, but, you know, 
there's always people that keep anything they catch no matter what the size is and I don't know I'm just glad he was caught twice now as far as I know once by whoever let him go the first time there and then now me so he's so had a lucky shot twice now, which is good. But uh, yeah, I'm just drifting over towards the shore. I come in way, way down there. Um, it's basically, I just drifted from all my stuff. I was out, out there. I'm gonna drift this way, and I'm gonna work my way down the bank, and then phew, home. Uh, I said slow day. The only thing I can get them to bite on is this frog. I mean, I've tried other color frogs and they don't want any other color. It's the only colors they seem to like. I didn't try any skinny dippers today. Uh, any of my swim baits. They might go on that, but I don't know. I was trying to use something different. But yeah, get back with you some more. Alright guys, I've gotten closer here, I've gotten into these little sticks and stuff like that. Um, I was coming in, I mean literally I was right here by the boat. This is all the line that was out. And this guy just like slammed my frog. Um, scared the hell out of me because... I was obviously reeling in and I was right there at the boat and I was looking out to find my next uh, spot to throw to and this huge monster slammed me. Uh, let's see what we got here. 18 inches. I mean, massive mouth. It was huge. I mean, scared the living daylights out of me. Because there's like tons of gators all around where I'm at right here. And I wasn't looking, so first thought is, shit, gators attacking. <laughs> nope, just this big old behemoth. But uh, let's let her go. There she goes. I mean, no, no wake or nothing. I mean, it wasn't following it. If I seen a wake, I would have stopped. But I mean, I'm just drifting with the wind, so I'm thinking maybe she was sitting on a bed over there, and I was just coming up to the bed. But and still on this gambler uh, cane toad here, chartreuse. Uh, pepper shad color I don't know this the only thing I can get them to really eat on today but I'm not complaining at least I'm not at least I'm not skunked uh, so out here having some fun but uh yeah get back to you uh, all right guys got number four out of these sticks I seen him back there chasing. So come on, open your mouth. Have uh, fun. <coughs> you got this all twisted up in you, don't you? What you got going on there, buddy? squirt looks like he's been eating pretty well got a little fat little belly on him but, uh, number four. Oh, okay I'm just gonna move you around a little bit get some air in your lungs yeah I, I love fishing 
these little sticks. It almost looks like uh, old bulrush and stuff, maybe. Old sugar cane or something, maybe. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what they are. I just know that when I fish around them, I do extremely well. But, uh, yeah, that's number four. get back in there. Alright guys, number five. <laughs> Still had these sticks, man. Still had these sticks. Yeah, grab anchor here. Good little spot I got here. Decent little guy. Oof. I think I need the pliers to get this one off. I got it straight through the thick part of his tongue. I hate when they get it stuck there because, boy, let me tell you, their tongue is pretty. That actually came out pretty easy. A little pound and a half, two pounds. Oh. Got him right over here. As soon as that frog hit the water, he just doosh. There he goes. Probably in about two foot of water. Looks murky, but it's actually Pretty, pretty clear for the most part. When my frog sits on the bottom, I can uh, I can see it still. So uh, what was that? Number five, I believe. Yeah. Number five. I'm still going. Still going strong with this the same frog. Now I say that I'm gonna get a fish that's good. Oh. He hit there for a second I didn't know if he was still on, so let's sit and reel the Black in and he was still there, set the hook, had him for a second, and he was off. You guys still recording here. Yeah, so I'll leave you guys on for a little bit more. Over right, this spot again. Guy's getting the best of me here. Gotta be a little guy.
well concentrated in this spot for some reason. I mean, all their bedding and stuff is done, I believe. Finally took the leg off. So I'll have to show you guys off so I can re-rig with new frog here. That one finally bit the dust. He's a legless little guy. I think that guy's gonna do much. But yeah. My kids love all these ones are breaking stuff, so let's throw them up to the front of the boat. I get home. My son just comes up and gets all the baits. So he knows dad's bringing them home. So we got it here. I got two of these colors left, so that means I need to go shopping. down here real quick. I'm just using a horny toad uh, frog hook 5 aught A little screw on the top here. Um, I got a 30 pound braid with uh, uh, let's see what is Probably about three, three and a half foot of 14 pound uh, vicious uh, line as my leader, ultra clear. Um, yeah, I'm catching them all on my Shakespeare axiom. I got my Skeet Reese and my Amber Garcia sitting there just had a frog on this, so I've just been fishing with this one all day. Let's see if I can't get another one on camera. So brand new, brand new frog, and now they don't want the brand new frog. I guess they like the old beat up one. Someone's got to like it. Yeah, these gambler frogs, they got a, a garlic scent to them. <laughs> 